Hey guys, quick question. What do disciples and devotees do? Well, they worship the teapot and never drink the tea. But today, we are going to change that because we are going to use our teapot and drink that damn tea. Hey guys, it's Tanisha here from Chastrup. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now today, I am going to be reviewing this gorgeous teapot that was gifted to me for review by Room Tea. So, not just that, but at the end of the video, I am going to do the ultimate chai check where I make chai in this glass teapot on a stove top. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get started with our review. So this room tea infuser pot comes with this glass teapot and also a drip tray, which is super cool because I can put the hot tea right on the tray without damaging the surface. Now, when I look at this teapot, the first thing I notice right off the bat is the slick design. It is a very, um, it has a very beautiful design because if you look at the handle, the grip is very secure. I'm very comfortable holding it, moving it. And not just that, but the distance between my knuckles and the teapot body is is actually enough so that my hand doesn't touch the teapot accidentally when I'm lifting it and it has hot liquids in it. If you look at the snout, it's also drip free because it has this little um, tear shaped thing at the end so it makes pouring really really easy. And in terms of aesthetics, I am loving the silver accent, the silver lid on it. It just makes it so feminine, so chic. Not just that, but the lid actually is very snug. It pops right on and it's all safe and secure. So I love how it's engineered to be really tight and secure. Now, if we look at our infuser basket, I love the fact that the basket is so huge and it goes almost to the bottom of the teapot, which means that if you're making just one cup of tea, you can still easily do that in this because the tea leaves will be in contact with water even if the water level is kind of low. So it works with that as well. Um, and other than that, our infuser basket has a little handles. So it's literally like a basket. Um, the sips, the little holes on our infuser basket are so, so, so tiny and so fine, which means that tea leaves will definitely not be going back and forth between, uh, between the water, between our tea and the infuser basket, which is great because I hate it when sometimes a little tea leaf will just escape into your tea. No, I don't want that. I just want the flavor. <laughs> um, and I actually want to do a quick test before we get to our ultimate test. I have a water bottle here. It has warm water in it. I want to actually put this through the infuser and see if at least the water can go through comfortably. And this will also warm up our teapot for the ultimate chai check. So let's try doing this. Okay, no problems there. The water has just gone through so quickly because sometimes what happens is when your infuser basket um, has really fine sips, even the water collects at the bottom, which could be an issue, but over here, that does not seem to be a problem at all. The water, all of it just straight went into the teapot. And while we're at it, let's just give this a nice swerve around here so that our teapot can get warm and it'll be okay for our chai. So the packing does say that this is stove top safe and the glass does seem really really thick. Apparently it is, there's a fancy name for it, apparently it's borosilicate glass. But you know when you're making chai on a stove top it's there for quite a long time, so fingers crossed, it'll all be okay. <laughs> all right, 
So now that we've gone through the design and the aesthetics and all of that cool stuff, let's get down to our ultimate chai check. I'm gonna make masala chai in this glass teapot right on the stove. Hopefully all goes well. And if you want the recipe that I'm gonna be using, you can definitely check out my other video called How to Make Masala Chai. So let's do this. Just gonna turn on the stove top. Our teapot is warm already and it's wet, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Once again, I'm not gonna go through the entire process of making this chai because I'm using the recipe from my other video. All right, so the heat is on maximum. And let's see how this goes. All right, it's just been a couple of minutes and our water is really starting to warm up already. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some spices to this. Okay, so now this is really, really bubbling already, which is good. The handle is still okay. It's not warm at all, but the water is bubbling. The steam's coming out of here. And a little bit from these holes up top as well. This looks so gorgeous. I am excited for this, guys. I'm so excited. Therapeutic and so pretty to see your chai actually change color and you know just brew to set something so beautiful. <laughs> I'm loving this, guys. I am loving this. All right, so the handle is still not too hot for me to handle. In case you want a better view of the tea liquor, it is changing colors. Are you ready for this? I am ready. Liquid gold, here we come. Whoa, beautiful, love it. Oops, why am I so clumsy sometimes? All right, so I've added the milk into this and this is where the scary the scary part comes in because with the saucepan, this is when you're lifting the saucepan off the stove, putting it back on, lifting, putting it back on for those big boils. So let's see how it works with our teapot chai. The handle is perfectly okay. It's a little, it's actually not even warm. It's room temperature. It's actually literally room temperature. So I feel very comfortable taking it off and putting it back on. Wow, look at those bubbles. This is so beautiful. <laughs> and it's so convenient. I mean, there's nothing splashing here and there. Oh. You just have to be really careful though. I think that's the thing about chai. Once the milk is in, it's all hands on deck. Well, one hand on deck in this case because obviously the milk can escape right out through the uh, spout. Look at how bubbly and frothy our chai is. I don't even know if I get this effect on a normal saucepan. This teapot is just outdoing itself. The 
the stove is turned off but because it's glass it's very hot still so when I put it on a hot stove it keeps on boiling so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take it off and put it on the drip tray hopefully it will be able to handle this hotness there we go and I'm just gonna get rid of the stove and be right back in two seconds look at that drip free spout that is beautiful anyways that is a wrap do let me know about your teapot collections in the comments below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell for further notifications of all the videos we post and please 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 connect with me on instagram because i'm very active there that we can be a whole big positive tea community with a tea <laughs> anyways until next time it's a bye with a chai oh i love it the texture is amazing Mmm, delicious.